A few years ago, the university replaced good old fashioned blackboards with whiteboards, thinking that they were more environmentally friendly. I didn't particularly like it. When I teach organic chemistry, I like to draw on the board. So when I was, you know, using the whiteboard, I found it a bit more awkward to draw my organic structures. But there was compensation because I was getting happy during the lecture. At the end, I felt positively giddy. Figured out what was going on here. It was the solvent in the pen. And having access to a lab, uh, we did some testing. It turned out to be xylene, dimethylbenzene. And you can, in fact, get high on sniffing solvents. Well, that sent me scurrying to the scientific literature to find out just what the consequences of this were. And there are consequences. Sniffing solvent is not a good thing. And it turns out that it is a relatively common occurrence in people who are seeking to get high. And this is a very serious warning, especially to parents who may not be aware what their children are doing. You probably heard of glue sniffing, uh, which is relatively common, but solvents that are found in spray cans like this are what are most commonly used. Butane is the one that you really have to be aware of. Butane or lighter fluid uh, is uh, lipophilic, means that it is fat soluble. It crosses the blood brain barrier and it very quickly gives a high, but it also can lead to cardiac arrhythmia, which can cause a heart attack. And there's another scenario to be aware of. Sometimes what thrill seekers will do is take some spray can, spray it into a garbage bag, and then put the garbage bag over their head to increase the concentration, inhale it to get a real high. Well, this can do away with you in several ways. First of all, it can cause cardiac uh, arrest, but you can also die of asphyxia because they pass out with the bag on their head and there's not enough oxygen. So this is something really to be aware of and the scientific world is aware of this. There was a paper not long ago uh, about someone dying from spraying deodorant. Now what they did was they put a towel over their head, sprayed the deodorant under it, passed out and died. Uh, this is certainly something that, that is, is happening very often with teenagers. So parents and everyone else, teachers, need to be aware of the danger, especially if you see a can of butane in an environment where you don't think that it should appear. Now, what about my uh, whiteboard here? Uh, I used it now. It erases nicely, I must say that. And there's some interesting chemistry going on there. But I'm not getting high. And the reason I'm not getting high is because there no longer is any xylene in these pens. And actually, it says xylene-free on the label. I suspect that they use rubbing alcohol. And uh, that is not going to rub you the wrong way.